It's not impossible. It's not. It's not impossible. If you were in a class and you were failing that class, it's not impossible to pass as long as the math agrees. So take take this situation because this is the situation where people usually fail. So you take the first test, you fail. You take the second test, you fail. So if you're in a classroom and you have four tests in a final, typically, if you fail those first two tests, chances are, and this, I'm just speaking from experience here, from the hundreds of students I've had and taught for so many years, if you fail those first two tests, typically, you're not going to pass. But if there is hope, mathematically, for you to pass, it is possible. It is not impossible. And I say that because I've seen it. You know, I had a a student once. She was in one of my classes. It was a pre-calculus class. And she took she took the first test. I think she got like a 62 or 64. And she was a good student. She came to class every day. Uh, she sat somewhere in the middle on the left side of the room. I remember exactly where she sat. I forgot her name. She would take notes. Sometimes she would ask questions. She was kind of shy. And she took really good notes. I could see from where I was standing. She used a highlighter. Everything was nice and organized. But on that first test, she failed. So when she came to see me in my office after the test, I gave her the usual advice. You know, go over your homework, go over your notes. Just do better next time, you know? Just work harder. And the second test came around. Gotta make a turn here. And she did, she did worse. She got a 40 something on her test, which is really, really bad. So she came to see me again in my office and I gave her the usual advice, except this time I told her something else. I told her that she needs to make sure that she can do everything cold. And by cold, I mean that you can do all of the homework problems without looking at your notes. You can do every example from class without looking at your notes. And you can do everything that we go over in the review for the test, this is even more important, without looking at your notes. If this was a graduate student, if this was grad school, I would take it further and say, make sure you can do everything related to the topic (laughs) before the test, even from other books, because grad school is a whole different beast. But as an undergrad, if you can do those things, you're probably gonna do well. And then I told her what she needed to get, you know, on the next two tests in order to pass the class. And in my class, the final exam replaces your lowest test score, which, which is really good because it gives people like this girl an opportunity for redemption. And, I, and I, I do believe in redemption. I believe that, I believe people should be given a second chance in, in anything, in most things in life. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a person that believes in, well, too bad, game over. No, I'm not like that. I think people make mistakes and you can learn from your mistakes and it's okay to mess up sometimes, you know? Life is hard enough. Uh, I don't need to be the one going out there, you know, making it harder for people so third test came around which was on conic sections and matrices and typically my pre-calc class that's that's the hardest test i mean i would warn them about the test in the first day of class and it's not because i made it hard it's just because the topics in that test were tough it covered conic sections which i cover super thoroughly in my pre-calc class i love conic sections we go into all kinds of little details of the directrix and all kinds of really cool challenging problems where you have to think. And then it also covers matrices. She got an A on that test. And usually, you know, only two or three people in my class would get an A on that test. And she did, she did. And that's when everything changed, right? Because she had that one success 
that's one of the hard things about failure. You know, once you fail, it's really hard to pick yourself up off the ground and be confident. But when you get that first success, it gives you that confidence. And it gave her that confidence. And then on that fourth test, which was on induction, series, the binomial theorem, she also got an A. And the final, she also got an A. And she got an A in the class. So situations like this teach you, they teach me, that it's not impossible. And I say teach me because when she came to my office after that second test, I, I couldn't tell her that chances are she wasn't going to pass. You know, typically when people fail those first two tests, I mean, I could have told her, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell her. I didn't want to, like, kill her spirits. Sometimes I'll tell students, you know, yeah, you know, typically, you know, when you fail the first two tests, typically you're not going to make it. But there are people that make it. And that's the truth. You know, typically you fail those first two tests, game over. But there are situations where you can succeed. And this girl was an example of success, right? So it's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. So if you're in a class and you're failing, go talk to your teacher, right? See if it's mathematically possible first. And then you can ask for their advice. They, they might tell you to withdraw. They might tell you to quit. Um, and you can take from that what you want just know that, in my experience, you fail the first two tests in a classroom with four tests, probably not going to make it. But there are situations where you can. And I've seen multiple situations, and those are the best stories. <laughs> those are the best ones, right? When people rise from the ashes, from failure, pick themselves up off the ground, and, and do great. It's like, it's like a boxing match. I used to love boxing, you know? You know, those fights where the guy gets knocked out and gets up gets up again, gets up again, just keeps getting up. You know, it's like Rocky. Everyone loves an underdog story. And that's what these are, you know, these students who who don't do well in math and, and, and then do better. I think those are the, man, those are the best. Those are the best stories, the best situations. So, yeah, anyways, just a random video. It's not impossible, okay? It's not. You can do it. I have seen people do impossible things in math classrooms. People who are failing just somehow do better just through hard work and sheer determination. So yeah, you can do it. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. I have math courses on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. I have courses on algebra, calculus, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, trig, etc. But if you get them, please use the links from either the description of any of my videos or or my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Check it out. You can learn some math. Key takeaway from this video, it's not impossible. Keep doing mathematics.